I got to fly in space aboard the Space Shuttle Atlantis. We launched into space to catch up with the Hubble Space Telescope. I used the robotic arm to reach out and grab it and put it in the back of our shuttle's payload bay so we could do some repair work. The Hubble Space Telescope is probably the most significant scientific instrument ever created by humans. It's taken over 1.4 million images for tens of thousands of scientists around the world. But the other thing Hubble has done is show us for the very first time really how beautiful and amazing the universe is. The pictures that I love are the ones that we call the deep field. An astronomer had the idea of looking at a dark patch of sky and they looked at that same dark patch of sky for a long time and realized after compiling all the data that there are hundreds of thousands of galaxies just in this one segment of sky that looked empty to us. Hubble was the first telescope designed to be visited in space by astronauts to perform repairs, replace parts, and update its technology with new instruments. Between 1993 in 2009, there were five servicing missions to Hubble. The whole point of going to the Hubble and putting in new instruments is to improve its capability. So when we put a new instrument in and the pictures come back, they're sharper and have more detail than anything ever seen before. The object behind me is one of the cameras that used to be on the Hubble Space Telescope. The curved white part on the outside was open to space and lots of little tiny meteorites hit it. So when the astronauts went to fix Hubble, they took the camera, brought it back to Earth. The holes that you see are where the scientists took out those pieces so they could study the little meteorites. In 2009, the space shuttle did the final servicing mission to the Hubble Space Telescope, and it's lasted now over 10 years, and it's still in great shape. In the meantime, we're building the James Webb Space Telescope. It's an infrared telescope, and so it can see deep into places where baby stars are forming, farther back in the universe, and study the planets and moons in our own solar system in detail we've never seen before. Hubble and James Webb let us look at space in different ways. Here are some photos taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. What can you see? What questions do these pictures make you think of about how our universe was formed? Let us know down in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to follow STEM and 30 on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe to the National Air and Space Museum's YouTube channel.